I remember when I just landed, I thought to myself, if only I could get a $20 per hour job, I'll be all right. Like I'll be able to afford everything I wanted. And um, you know, $20 per hour is about $42,000 per year. And that's a lot of money, especially if you convert it to Naira, you understand. Well, I got to $20 per hour and I quickly realized that this was peanuts. This was nothing, like it wasn't solving any problems at all. I'm making today's video because there was an interesting conversation on Twitter where some guys talked about whether it is possible or not to make a hundred dollar per hour as an immigrant i even joined in the discussion and it was so interesting so you guys stay tuned Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Toby. I'm a Nigerian Canadian based out of the city of Calgary, Alberta. I make videos like this talking about life in Canada from my own perspective and what I've experienced so far in the years I have lived here. You know, by January, it's been four years since I've been living here. If you're new here and this kind of topics interest you, consider subscribing and turning on the notifications so you don't miss any of the videos I make. The last video I made, I was talking about reasons why people are leaving Canada in 2023, you know, and I got all sorts of comments, you know, <laughs> people are always angry when you talk about these topics, when you talk about why people are leaving Canada. And I stressed so many times in that video that the aim of making this video is to educate people, is to let people know and to plan before they come. I'm not discouraging people in any way. I kept stressing that point, but I'll just read some of the comments that were so funny to me. The first one I'm going to read here is, um, LOL, you have no idea about what they are going through in Nigeria and the rest. Upon all this, Canada is still better than Nigeria. Besides, the opportunity Canada will give you, Nigeria won't give you that, lol. So, I, I didn't, I wasn't comparing Nigeria to Canada and I, I wasn't saying, oh, like, I wish I could go back to Nigeria. That, that was not, not what I was saying. Most people know that Canada gives you opportunities because there, there's a smaller population here. It's a more developed country and so So that, that's not what I was saying to the person who made that comment. Someone said, I just returned from Costco. Three steaks were $70. Inflation is going rampant. Then someone who was very angry responded to that comment and said, were you eating steak in Nigeria? <laughs> I found that really funny because like we eat steak every and anyways um yeah i know some some people just want to troll sometimes some people are just angry so um there is this comment here too the person said so why are you still there this thing of i'm in canada but don't come to canada videos make me laugh allow us to see for ourselves so this is part of what I was talking about. I'm, I think most of these people don't even watch this video. The moment they just see a 30 seconds or 10 seconds clip and they hear, oh, Canada is this, then they just conclude that this is what I'm talking about. So I never said I was going to leave Canada. I never complained about living in Canada. I was only telling people why people are leaving Canada. This is on the news. This is something that is worrisome for the government. And um, yeah, I'll read maybe one or two more comments I found very funny. So this person said, have you left yet? Or are you talking about others? So uh, I'm sure like people like this didn't watch the video. I'll read one more comment here. This person says, so why are you still in Canada? And I responded and I just put a laughing smiley there. So I just feel like most people just come for you. Like once they just see you're making a video and talking about anything negative, you know. And I've seen this trend so many times on social media. When people share their stories, when people talk about things going on, it's not necessarily... I, I understand the fact that there are people who share bad information or wrong information. But when people share their stories, it's not because they are trying to maybe discourage other people from pursuing their dreams that's not necessarily the case anyway that's not the topic for today i just thought to mention this in this video so if you are part of people that commented or you watched the last video you i can make you understand again the goal of making that video was to educate people and to make people who are planning to come here to prepare properly before coming here so you know all these things are not going to be surprising to them personally i wish i, I had all this information that on youtube today i wish i had all this information before i came here i would have prepared differently before coming to canada you know i would have taken courses i would have done my research it, it would have been different for me but like there's so many people giving out so many good information i'm even surprised and so if you're coming to canada now and you watch youtube you you have everything you need because there's so many people giving out very correct information so back to the video of the day so this lady was trending on twitter or x she she put she was posted by insta blog and she was telling people about her experience in canada you know and how the good jobs are preserved for the white people and the immigrants come here to be cleaners to be cooks etc and it, it was such a funny video to watch in fact let me play the video for you guys just watch this this message is for africans that want to come to canada 
don't. Let me be very honest, why? All right, they'll tell you, oh, they can get you jobs here. But what they don't tell you is that the jobs that they're giving you is ones Canadians don't even want to do themselves. All right, you leave your job over in Africa, you're probably a banker, someone ranked very high and respected, and you come here to be a cleaner? You come here and they put you in a position to be a farmer? Like, the, the mere disrespect, and it's not like you're not paying your way. You're paying, and you're paying a hefty fine to come here and create a better life. But the disrespect, like, I'm sorry, I find that as very disrespectful because I know for a fact that if it was a white person or any person that was Canadian that came to Africa, y'all would have kissed them, put them in a higher position. Well, guess what? They ain't doing that for you, boo-boo. They are not. So this young man made a comment, and I'm just going to read his comment here. And I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see. So he said, I have a friend who worked in a so-called high position in Nigeria, receiving 700k per month. He gave it up and moved to Canada. He started small, and two years later, he got a job paying him $100 per hour. Multiply that by 7.5 hour per day, and tell me if he made a bad decision. Our stories are all different. Don't discourage people because you don't know their chi, you don't know their energy, you don't know what they are made of. And I really like these comments, but you know what happened next? <laughs> people started attacking and that's when this got really interesting. And it didn't just get interesting, it made me realize that a lot of people are living in Nigeria with a very wrong mindset, with a very wrong orientation. And a lot needs to change, like if you're going to get bigger, if you're going to live where you are right now, it, it starts with your mind. I was really surprised. So I'm just going to go straight into the comments um, that followed this. And so somebody posted, no job not even the highest rated not even in tech pays you hundred dollar per hour that's just capping that's just a lie maybe you don't know what hundred dollar is though ah so i saw i saw this comment and then the guy posted this other one on the screen right now and he says congratulations now you know that is him replying these guys are calling him a liar and then he posted some jobs from indeed just these are just regular jobs on indeed and um, so the next comment was uh, another guy said hundred dollar power for we are capping that's a lie and this was where i came in and i was like why are you people like this should be on a get phone why not just do a research do the research there are nigerians in canada making more than a hundred dollar power and this is this is facts this is not this is not them say them say this is facts i'm not talking about Yimbo. if this shocks you to the bones it means your mindset is due for an upgrade and that's period there are people right now that are making a hundred dollar per hour and they are not they are they are looking for an upgrade they are not satisfied because they know that there are jobs that will pay them more so that was my response to this guy and um, someone replied again and said you are capping rubbish i know so many people in canada and they are all paying lots of money and regretting the decision i'm in the uk and i regret coming here after being a successful lawyer we just need to fix Nigeria rather than come here as modern slaves. So another perception is people think everyone who comes here, you're going to slave when you come here or because of the color of your skin, because of this. I think the mindset with which you come here, with which you relocate, whether it's Canada or US or to the UK, it's more important than whatever you're going to pursue over there. Your mindset is very, very important. If you're going there, and you see yourself as a first class citizen, as someone who is going to be highly sought after, as someone who has value that is going to give. That's the way you are going to be carried. But if you see yourself as someone who is a slave and where people are standing, you are being shy and you are walking away, that, that is also the way you are going to be treated. That's the way you are going to be perceived in most cases. I was really shocked at this comment. And the next comment, someone said, $100 an hour, Oga, okay, which job is that? And somebody put this one is so funny. This guy said the guy they brush line on teeth for zoo. I found that very funny. Like what this guy is trying to say here is like you, you have to be doing an impossible job to make a hundred dollar. This is a hundred dollar per hour we're talking about. This guy said, man said hundred, I guess wanted to write dollar euro to euro. Man man said hundred dollar per hour, lol. Doubt even CEOs get that much. Who is a CEO? Hey, it, 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 this has to be a joke because I wish I could talk to these guys who made all these comments one one by one. But maybe maybe someone who knows them will show them this video and, and educate them or something. This guy said, "Big lie, hundred dollar per hour, biggest lie ever. Making us making us small small they lie for this bed up." He said, "He first of all said 
big lie then he said biggest lie ever i i don't know i don't know what to say right now guys i i don't know i'm sure my canadian friends who are watching this video right now people who have been in canada for a while are watching this video right, right now they are laughing their asses out they are laughing at these guys so much because you, you're just in Nigeria, just sitting in Nigeria and then you're thinking $100 per hour is a lot of money. I don't understand. This guy said $100 per hour when you know be prime minister. Ha! Ah, guys, come on. And this guy said, you know Sabi like guy, which work for Nigeria, they pay 700 k monthly. And which job for Canada, they pay $100 per hour when you know be president, son. This one even boss my brain like this one scattered my head this guy already believes that there is no job in nigeria that can pay you seven hundred thousand naira per hour like when i was in nigeria i had mates when i'm i'm talking about 2012 when i wanted to go in for my master's degree like i had friends working with multinational companies and were making as high as seven hundred thousand if, if no more. So I don't understand these guys, man. I don't know. I wish I could help. I, I want to help these guys. I, I want to help them shift their mindsets because if this is what you have in your mind, you're not going to grow from where you are and stop spreading misinformation. Stop making people who want to chase this dream think that there is nothing here for them because it's a lie. This guy said, hello, 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 hello. $100 per hour. You guys should reduce the lies now. Do you know what kind of job you need to do to do here in Canada to end that. So I want to believe this guy is in Canada because he said, do you know what kind of job you need to do here to end that kind of money? Something like that. I think that's where he wrote. So I, I like the, the first, the guy, the Chinonso guy who posted first, re responded to this guy. He said, you don't need to do anything extraordinary. Don't call me a liar because you're not in that level yet. I, I love this guy so much. I, this guy is this guy is smart. Try to learn instead of sounding ignorant. I don't like doing this, but attach is your normal indeed for project management position. Canada offers great opportunities. Don't limit yourself. And he posted some job postings for this guy that were paying over a hundred dollar per hour so i like what he said here he said try to learn instead of sounding ignorant try to learn every day i'm on the internet i'm trying to learn every day i'm watching people's youtube videos i'm trying to learn i'm watching people that are really smart and i'm not going on their comment section to question everything they are saying i'm picking out what is very important in what they are saying whatever i don't understand i leave it because i don't understand it if you don't know something it's going to sound like a lie you're just ignorant then you think everybody is lying so this guy said dollar for wear capping that he, he said it before and I, I responded to him i read this before then he responded back to me he said you don't i think he wanted to write you don't go there before he wrote you don't go there before forget social media and, and get down to reality if you like here if not see the situation on ground and have a plan before you jab back for 100 dollar power it job so he, put, he sent me a video of people sleeping in tents people sleeping outside and stuff trying to advise me that i should better hear what he's saying he has experience if i don't learn i'm gonna learn the hard way <laughs> i found it so funny because he was trying to advise me and i responded to him i said hey mr fido thank you for your insights it seems to me that you've traveled abroad or you currently live abroad and you don't like the experience however i don't think you slept on the street or in the cold majority of people who majority of people travel without any plans or skills and come here to complain and he, he told me, oh, I am a professional with skills, competence, and certification. I'm not capping, which means I'm not lying. This is this is the final comment I'm going to read. This guy said, so if you're making $100 per hour, you mean you'd be in the comment section? For what exactly? I found that funny because I, I, I was like, I'm pretty sure Elon makes way more than that. And you see him on X every single day. You guys, come on. Then he told me, come on, this is his app. It's like his office. You can't be this dull. Why can't you see him commenting on IG or Facebook? Think. Hmm. You know, I found this guy's comment very interesting because it makes it seem like if you're making a lot of money, you should have no business in social media. You shouldn't be in comment section. You shouldn't be talking. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have a social life or a social presence. That, that's why I read from what he said. And you know, when I try to point out the fact that, oh, I see Elon Musk every time and that's just one person out of so many people. He told me, oh, this is Elon Musk's office. He's the owner of it. Elon Musk has so many businesses. He has Tesla, he has SpaceX, he has everything. He's just a, he's a very expressive person. I think that's why you see him on social media. It's not because he owns X. Before he bought Twitter, he was always there. 
we always saw him on Twitter. He had always been that kind of person. So I don't understand what this guy was trying to say. And I told him, you know, you can pass comments without insults. Stop thinking when you pass an insulting comment, your work. If you have a point to make, do so in a civilized manner. And he told me, ah, if we don't insult some of you, you guys will never think with your brain. Like, bro, it's common sense. So in this guy's mind now, he's smart. He's, so, he's smarter than me, smarter than everybody. He's trying to pass insults so that I can... I can think, I can open my head, I can. These are the comments I got. And all this started from the fact that one person posted that it's possible to make a $100 power in Canada. So I just want to say, guys, please come to Canada with a positive mindset. Canada is a beautiful country. I wish there were more people that said this to me before I relocated. A positive mindset is very, very, very key. You see, I've been to this country for almost four years. Like I said, it's going to be four years in January and I'm still finding my footing. I'm grateful for, for the growth so far I, I've seen in a short time, you know. But now I know that it's possible to make a lot of money in this life. Like it's possible to be rich. Some people came earlier this year, you know, and they, they've already had things figured out. Some people came last year and they bought two houses here already in Canada. I'm not even joking. Some people get jobs, like very, very good jobs before they even land in Canada. I'm saying all this so you know that everybody's journey is different. The fact that some people come here and they work their behinds off, you know, they do 16 hour shifts, they work so hard. That does not mean that that is what has to happen to everybody. I've seen people here who, who came in, you know, they worked at McDonald's, they worked at warehouses. Their first three years was very rough. And from the third year, fourth year, they started doing so well. Someone told me something when I got here. She said, it gets better with time. It gets better with time. I really don't understand when people make this kind of comments and when they, where this kind of mindset comes from. It really baffles me a lot. This is not me mocking people who come here and who are sleeping on the streets. My heart really goes out to them. If I have people like that in my community, I'll definitely reach out to help. But what I want to say is this, like, don't listen to people when they tell you, oh, come to Canada or visa, visa. you get work. You change it to this, you do that. Come with a concrete plan. I stand to be corrected here. I am here to see a permanent resident, a landed permanent resident, or even a student who is sleeping on the streets. Why? Because these guys, they know they're, they're coming in. Permanent resident, you're coming in, you're, you're already a property of the government. You're going to get a job. It might not be a good job, but you're going to get a job. But as a visitor, things are so difficult. You have no insurance. You have no government support. You have nothing. So it's so difficult. If you come in as a visitor, you, uh, you try to, or you cross the border, you come here to claim refugee. Things can get so difficult. While it works for some other people, People and it goes seamlessly it might not be that way for you so i'm not saying don't do what you want to do i'm just saying have a proper plan so things don't backfire so one thing we all must have is a positive mindset and a drive to succeed if you come to this country and you have a minority mindset like i said in the beginning zero plans and zero motivation you end up complaining every single day i've heard people's stories and i've conditioned my mind that even though it doesn't look like it today, you know, I'm on the right path. The color of my skin or what I look like is not going to determine my success in this land. And that, that's fact. I've met quite a few Nigerians here, you know, because I do photography. And I've met people who are doing absolutely well. Like you see them, your head will swell. You enter their houses, your head will swell. And when you hear their story, how they started from really small, you'll be inspired. One of the people I, I look up to here, you know, he just bought a house of $4 million. I know people here who are paying like for their houses in cash. I know people here who are buying their cars with cash and they are Nigerians. So see, don't let people make you feel like there is nothing for immigrants here. That is why I thought to make this video, to be able to inspire whoever wants to come here, let you know that their jobs you don't have to settle for minimum wage because you're an immigrant. They are good jobs. Come with your qualifications. Come with your skills. Learn how to format your resume. You will be fine. You might start out at a store as a supervisor or maybe at a warehouse, but you'll be fine. Eventually, you will be fine. I tell you that for sure. I have so many stories to share, but one thing I want to do on this channel as time goes on and if God will permit me is to interview some of these very successful Nigerians. I know quite a few of them. Very successful Nigerians, you know, people who are making millions in this city and let them share their story so that if they would agree, because you know, another thing is that when Nigerians are making money, they want to keep it on the low because the moment you see them on YouTube, now you see them on social media, you know, family people, village people start to send their messages and some people don't want that. They don't want to like, blow their trumpet and let the whole world see so i'm going to find whoever is willing to like sit with me and have a discussion share their stories i would like to bring them up here and then they'll talk about their life and their experiences i met people who have been here for like 20 years doing so well these are people i look up to these are people that make me believe you know what i'm earning 
peanuts today but things are going to get better eventually i may not own houses today but things are going to get better eventually you know i am grateful for what i have today the most important thing is that i am not limiting myself the most important thing is that i will never tell myself it is impossible to make 500 dollar power i would never say that to myself because even though nobody has made it before that i know i could be the first so i'm never going to limit myself so that's why i thought to share this video with you guys like i said before um i make videos like this so if you haven't seen my videos please check my channel watch the other videos i make i try to make these videos from time to time but sometimes my schedule doesn't allow me to even like sit this way to make any videos so i'll try my best um december is coming i'm going to be off work for a few days so i'll try my best to make more videos informative videos and i'll drop them for you guys to watch and entertain yourselves so thank you so much um don't forget to subscribe please help this channel grow and um, click on the notifications like this video so that youtube can recommend it to your friends and stuff you know what i mean so um thank you very much until i see you guys again in the next video take care of yourselves and bye peace out